So, all right, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashemi, Oshai, Bashemi, Kakodash. We say the man's apostles and elders are great, most honor, well, of teachers or apostles, you should. And we say salutations, all the archivists, the putting word of teaching, say the day in and the out. And then we'll continue in season or season, we say shut up one. Then once again, go into that video here. And let's do that video in order to introduce a series that, that I might be doing. Offer this post here, you know, a series that going into why um, why people live in the church or why the series most likely might be, the title might be, um, why why um why people stop going to church or why the churches are losing our members you understand and that might be a a a, 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 a short little mini series that, that i might go into or for this one post and i might and what i would do is go over some of the things that was said in this post right that was said in this um, post some of the comments that was left and do some videos on it going going to some of the breakdowns you know just like for example um this person here talking about money already money and the church they one of the reasons why they leave um you know that that is something that 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 the churches do heavily you understand and that, that is that is what they do they, they teach for gain you understand they teach for higher they teach for gain and that is all they study about money and some people when they see that and they notice that they're not helping the, the congregation they leave you know um like this next person give her account here, say um, they made an announcement suspending a lady singer who had gotten pregnant out of wedlock. Went on to um, confront the pastor after and that was it. Um, so many other things that way, the, the, it's, it's like the teachings. Some people, you know, the the monks will be teachings of, 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 of the church and they find it going off from the scriptures. You know, some, pe some people see the things that the, that, that the church members doing and they find it off. They leave you know, and they never come back. They never go back to church. You understand? Um, so this 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 person put here, I can never stop going to church. The devil is a liar. And some and again, let's just say some people don't even understand the word what the word church mean. You understand? And what the church um goes into, right? And they do understand that they don't need to go to no bell and build with hands. And again, that, that is one of the videos that, that would be coming up. You know all these things, all these all these videos is is uh, would be coming into these things. And again, majority of the things that that people left the church for. Is the things that were written in the scriptures that the Lord warned us about. The things, the things that tell us watch. The things that to, to tell us know that hey, if someone did this, they're off. If someone doing this, they're off. They're not right. They're not, you know. And and literally, majority of the things that the Lord said to watch out for is is the things that that they be doing in these churches. You understand? Like this person put here, certain disagree, certain disagreements with the church's teachings. Spiritually, that no longer aligns with it with the teachings. So yes, so many, many, you know, again, it are many accounts, um, and people would give. This next person give an account to the hypocrites calling themselves pastors, man of God, yet they, yet they're terrible and shouldn't be leading people before the Creator. Now all these things. Oh, again, I, as I said, I would just again, it's a mini series. So where I might go through one of the comments and I would do a breakdown on it, you know. So like, well, do I break down on it, going to show it through what the scripture said. So how they write for, for leaving the church. You understand? And you know, if you if you go on Google right now and you type in, you know, you type in um um how much people are leaving the churches, you would see that it have a high increase. Now for each person they own their own their own reason, but there's plenty of people leaving the churches. Now some some just leaving and going into other bullshit some leaving they're not going back and so on and so on right now with that being said i'm gonna bring forth a scripture here this is um this is revelation chapter one i'll read outside from you know i'll read from this one it said the revelation of yahweh shai mashiach which god gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified by his angel unto the servant John. So it say what? Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John. It say who bear record of the word of God. And of the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And of all the things that he saw. It say who bear record of the word of God. And of the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And all those things that he saw. Now it say who bear record. So where will we have to turn to the record is in the word. Now majority of these people here. If we realize majority of these people what they do was follow the teachings of the pastor and the teachings of the lord not the record that was given unto us majority of them 
just go to church and just hear what the pastor say. They, 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 don't go, they don't go back to the scriptures and see if it's true or not. So when they do, when, when, they, when, when, when they bounce up someone, or they themselves read and they get to realize, yo, this is not what the pastor say. So all of a sudden, it, it, it causes what? Confusion. Now, they, now, now, now some of them just want to say the God is a liar. Some of them just want to say, you know, this is not true and so forth. Not knowing that they were just basically following a false prophet, a false teacher. And, and all these things, again, this, all these things is what the Lord warned us about. But the scriptures say they say, who bear record of the word of God. And of the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach and of the things that he saw. Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So it said, Bless is, blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which, which are written therein for the time is at hand. And these are things that, that, that many of these, these church goers, these church followers, or these, these particular denominations, who follow these, these denominations, you know, whether it be Christianity, whether it be um, Catholics, whether it be Jehovah Witness, whatever it is, these, some, these things that they don't do, they don't read, they don't hear the words of prophecy, and they don't keep those things which are written therein. You know what? Basic, I mean, if you ain't reading, you don't even know what is written therein. So anything that a pastor, anything that a bishop, anything that who are with this over here tell you, you go believe. And that is what is going on with the majority of these people. Right? That, that is what is going on with the majority of these people. Like, for example, this person talk about the wedlock, right? And they don't understand what it is, what this go back to. You understand? So, so someone asks, someone asks this question, um, um, how you confront the pastor, and he just see confront, he, he just confronted the pastor, but it's just to show that they themselves they don't read, you understand? And they don't, and, and they, they don't keep the things that are written there in. Now, if you was reading, you would understand that hey, your pastor off in many ways. You understand your pastor going off in many ways, right? Many, many ways, but that's because the, the more believe in the words, the, the, the more believe in the words of the pastor, because again, the pastor would work, teach them soothing, soothing lines, teach them, um, tell them so, um, seducing words and so forth. Right? Um... So, uh, yeah, so the pastor would what, teach them lies, teach them, teach them so forth. And they're not reading, they're not, they not believing any words and so forth. They get caught. And all of a sudden, the confusion reach now. When they see something off, you know. Um, I'm going to bring an extra scripture here that come to my mind. Let me see if I find it here quick. Right, um. This is um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13, right? Just a couple. Yeah, Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13, right? It say, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. And that is the thing, that is what the Lord tell them, the fear towards him is taught by the precept of men. And not by what it is the word say and so forth. And that is what's going majority of these pastors. They, they, they're not coming to speak what it is written in the word. They're just telling the outer, outer things out of their own mouth. And people just run out it. Then I said, I just give her a account where I remember talking to a church goer. And, she, and when, I, when I brought up certain things in Timothy, she literally told me Timothy is a liar. And that her pastor is true. So you get to understand how far gone these church goers is. You understand? When we're supposed to be what? Abiding by the record that's given unto us. Abiding by the word. Abiding by the things that Yahweh Shai said. You understand? I'll go to our next scripture here now. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15. Right? 15. We'll go straight to the point. It say, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faith. You know what? I'm reading from verse 1. say, Behold, speak down in the ears of my, of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And cause them to be written in paper because they're what they are faithful and true. And you see, that is the thing. All these, all these things go back to the word. And if you don't believe in the word, how could they believe in the Lord? 
a majority of you all believe in lies. And when you believe in a lie, obviously when you do hear the truth, it, it, it leads to what? Confusion. Now you don't know what to believe. Now you know as some people let's say the Lord the Lord will be the you know, the Lord and this all of a sudden they, they don't believe in the Lord no more. The Lord is confusion. You know, this and that and so forth. Now knowing that he was just basically abiding in one, a false prophet, he was listening to a false prophet and so forth. You see, and that is why I wanted to start this series with believing in the word. Because it all goes back to what? The word. That is why the Lord says in Revelation 1 verse 3, Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So keep those things that are written therein. And you, and we, you damn well know your pastor not keeping those things that are written therein. Because he don't even teach the things that are written therein. So how could he uphold and keep... How could he uphold and keep those things that, that are inside of here? You understand? That is why the first comment, the first comment, right, over a thousand likes, is talking about a pastor and the money. Because that is what it is with them. They don't teach righteousness. They don't teach, oh, they, 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 they don't teach the things that they're supposed to be teaching. They don't, they don't talk prophecies. They don't, touch righteous, they don't talk about righteousness and so forth. What they talk about is money to each their own, to each their own gain. You understand? To each their own gain. So this is a nice topic to go upon. And I said, that is why I say I could do a mini-series or do some videos upon it. Touching upon the many ways of people that live in the churches. You understand? And one of the reasons why is because they don't read and don't believe in this word. You understand? We're supposed to keep those things that are written there that, that were written there in, but now your pastor telling you these things done away with. You understand? You don't need to keep those things that done away, it, it null and void. Come on, it don't make sense. And so now the Lord says what the words are what faithful and true. So you have to go back to all, go back to what the word. And many, many of you all, many of these these accounts given here, because plenty of them do believe in the word, plenty of them do read the word and just go off of what the pastor say. You understand? I'm gonna jump to our next scripture here. to Luke. I'll go to Luke chapter 11 verse Luke 11 verse um, chapter 11 verse um, Mary from verse 27 and I say and it come and it came to pass as he spake these things a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him blessed is the womb that bade that bade thee and the paps which thou hast sucked but he said yea Rather, blessed are they that, that hear the word of God and keep it. So, blessed is they that hear the word of God and what and keep it. And there is something, you know, to hear the word of God, you have to be hearing it the, word the right way. So, you have to turn to what? To the word. You see, it all go back to the word. And plenty of you all don't do believe in the word. You all just believe in what it is your pastor saying. And that's it. And that's it. You understand? That's it. Right? Y'all in want to, y'all in want to, in, in, in want to, um, in want to believe in the word, but just running off with, with, with something a pastor say that is basically wrong. But the reason why the Lord said to what, to continue in his word. The reason why the Lord said to abide by his word, you know, turn to the word and so forth. Stay with the answers is. Yes, and, but majority of these pastors and these these thing about these, these people is that they find teachers 
that that would that would um, teach them according to the laws. You understand? They don't they don't they, they don't really believe in the Lord. They just want to believe in something else, and that that causes the whole confusion and so forth. So hey, again, most likely this is the intro to the to the series. Salah, so, sorry. Most likely this is the intro to the series, right? I'm going into the series again. Too many um. Too many, 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 many questions. You know, many, many things written here that that it it it's simple. It it easy, right? Once it, once in the word, but as I said, as 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 we now read that these people don't believe in the word, they don't even, you know, keep the things that are written there. Right. So um, with that, once again, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yoshai, Ba'ashem Makakodash. We said about the apostles and elders of great Muslims and well teachers of apostles and shoot. And we see salutations, holy acclamations, the Christian church and say, "Dean and the old, you know, constantly in season and season we say, Shalom."